Hi everyone and welcome to a design tutorial by Eternal Stationery. Today I'm going to show you how to mail merge envelopes and I'm also going to show you how to add a gorgeous little graphic um, so whenever the recipient goes to the letterbox to pick up their mail amongst all the bills is a beautiful little envelope. It's very easy and as you can see will look great. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create the spreadsheet that will be mail merged. I've gone ahead and filled in this spreadsheet, but as you can see here, cell 1A has got name in it and cell B1 has got address 1, um, address 2 and country. That line is very important when it comes to mail merge and I'll show you why in Word when we get to that stage, but make sure you have headings correctly labeled. And then underneath is where you will have all the addresses for all the recipients. So once you've filled that in and all the addresses are correct, you just need to save it. The next thing you need to do is open up a new document in Word. We need to make sure that the size is correct for the envelope. So to do that, we're going to go to layout, size, and then choose your envelope size, or you could also add in a custom size, but today I'm going to be doing a five by seven. And I also want it to be landscape. So I'm going to come up to orientation and select landscape. So that is the basic document set up for five by seven. And now we just need to put in a placeholder. So firstly, we're going to have the name of the recipient. So I will start to type in Mr. and Mrs. P. Smith. Next, I'm going to fill out the rest of the details. So this one will be the street number and street address. The next line will be suburb, state and postcode. And then enter again and the next line will be country. So I'll come and rubber band select all that text, come up to home and select center text. So from here you can format this however you like using whatever fonts you like and sizes you like. I am going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. So now I have completed the text component of the envelope and I want to add the image. So to do that, I'm going to come up to insert, pictures, picture from file, choose the graphic that you want and click insert. Going to select wrap text and in front of text. And then using these boxes on the corner, I'm going to drag the image to the size that I like. Seems like a good size. Now to align the image to the center of the envelope, I'm going to click on the image, go up to align that's under picture format and click on align center. I'm going to move it down a little bit. And I'm quite happy with that. A quick note about the image. If you're wanting it to be high resolution and professional looking, I recommend that you get a image that is at least 2000 pixels long. Um, that will make sure that it will print out high resolution. Otherwise, if you get something that's less than that, you could have pixelating and that would not look very nice. So again, make sure your image is at least 2000 pixels long. I'm happy with the way everything looks, so I'm going to go up and save. Change the name to envelope and save. So now that we have the placeholder text, we need to start the mail merge. So I come up to mailings and click on select recipients and use an existing list. Select the spreadsheet that you created before and click open. So now that we have imported the spreadsheet, I'm going to select the names, go up to insert merge field. If you remember, when we were creating the spreadsheet, I said the first lot of cells were very important. And as you can see, the same names and the same headings that were on that cell are showing here. 
So for the first one, I'm going to select name. Now for the street address, I'll just select that and go back to insert merge field and click on address one. Next, I will select all of this line and go up to insert merge field and click on address two. And lastly, I will select the country and insert merge field and then country. I then come back up to the toolbar and click on preview results. Lastly, I'm going to finish the merge by going to finish and merge and click on edit individual documents. So now you can see that this document has mail merged all the names that were on the spreadsheet. All I need to do now is save this document or print directly to the printer. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.